Hello everybody and welcome to What About The Game. Today I'm going to be talking about Word Party which is now out on the Wii U eShop. So the name gives it away really, it's a party game revolving around words. Now that's fine, there's always room for these kind of games in, in my opinion. So being a party game there's, uh, there's no way to play anything in single player, it's 2-5 to five players only. Now that straight away makes it difficult to review. You know, you really need the right kind of people and the right kind of mood just to get a valid feel for it as a party game. Uh, I think by now you've already seen how cheap it looks. Uh, the production value is a little disappointing. It doesn't look good. Uh, it looks more like a, a mobile game or like a, an early learning game in parts. Now maybe that sounds a little harsh, but you know, this is a high-priced eShop game. You'd expect a little more from it. There's not really much to it. There's only two modes, which are play and practice, and after choosing the amount of players and uh, selecting play, you're thrusted straight into the action. Uh, it's basically a, a large collection of mini games revolving around words. Players compete against each other, and I think it's like seven consecutive random mini games, and at the end of which, you know, the scores are tallied and the winner is announced. And that's it, really. That's that's all of the game. The best aspect of the game is, I think, is the variety of mini games because there's quite a few. At the start, you'll keep coming across the same ones, uh, but after a few goes, you'll begin to unlock more and more and more. The game gets better once you have all of them, you know, because there's less repetition when you play through it. You know, you I think you start off with 12 mini games and then you can unlock twice as much. You can get 24, I think. Some of the mini game examples is, you know, one of them is like a you have a four letter word and you can replace one of the letters to make a different word. Another has you playing like whack-a-mole, uh, where you only hit the words that contain a certain vowel. Like all party games, it's a bit hit and miss as to whether the, the games are good. Uh, overall, I think the mini games are fine. Uh, the only problem I have is with the timer. I think it's just way too harsh on occasions. I, I understand that they want to give um, like a pressurized uh, situation. Uh, to make it like more chaotic and things, but you know, you know, sometimes it's just unnecessary. Some games are way too short. You know, they they're over before they've even started. Like there's a word search mini game, and you know the timer is just unnecessary. I think it's just it's just not needed. Overall, it's difficult to recommend Word Party to anyone who's not already uh, in love with word games, um, and uh, uh, has at least another person or two on standby to play with. Looks cheap, there's not a whole lot of content, you know, that's why this video is so short. And it won't keep you occupied for more than 20 minutes at a time, at least in my experience. Which is a shame really because I was genuinely hopeful for it. I think I'd only recommend it for families and that's about it. You know, like maybe mom and dad can play with little Jimmy and Jenny and you know, I think that's the kind of audience who could get something from Word Party. Okay guys, if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, it'll really help me out so much. And don't forget to check out the full review at whataboutthegame.com and keep up to date with us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, thanks guys. Bye bye.